Hey guys, in today's video, we go to a customer's address where they found out that the previous owners have had to habitually charge up this air conditioning system. So we do a leak search, we find the leak, quote the job, and we got the job. So here comes that video. All right, we have a, we have a, heat pump I think and she said is not cooling <clears throat> but right now it's 63 degrees up there so I have it turned to heat Contactor is not pulled in. It looks like we got a couple of pressure switches here. And she, after buying the house, has found out from her neighbors that she has to add Freon frequently. So we're gonna see if we can't address that. All right, now I'm gonna check these pressure switches. The one I'm most concerned about right now is the low pressure switch, which is these two wires right here. Neither one is open. Mm -hmm. A little woodpecker right there. Itty bitty one. Let me see if I have a speed up or here's a test. turned on in heat so let's see if we have looks like this is going to be a 410 system
to do this every time with measure quick. Yes, this is a 410 system. And that pressure should be higher on a 410 system with temperatures like they are right now. That head pressure should be over 300. So, we've already been clued in that it may be low on Freon, so we're fixing to go check in the attic. I kind of miss these old rectangle units. They were just easy to work on. I guess the newer ones are, they're easier than the cubes were, but I miss these old ones like this. if we can get over there without falling through the ceiling. There is clearly no kind of platform. I'm gonna have to sit on this. Other than somewhat difficult access, this would be easy to change. I mean, easy to change the coal, that is. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We may not need to change the coal. y'all hear my stomach is because it's lunchtime.
I highly suspect this coal. This insulation right here tends to get in my throat, so I do put this up while I'm in here. not seeing oil spots right now. something up over there. <clears throat> I thought I was. pretty good hit all right so that's leaking we're gonna need to check outside
All right, we found a pretty significant leak upstairs. I'm going to check out here and just make sure I don't have something else out here. I thought I had picked up a little something there, but maybe I just bumped it. All right, guys, to sign off on that one, I will just make this note. You should never just charge up a system. You're doing a disservice to your customer. They don't really appreciate it in the long run. And you're walking away from hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, potential dollars in repairs. So do a leak search, find the problem, and fix it. That's my MO. Thanks for watching guys, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Hey guys, forgive me if I'm dirty, I've been crawling under a house. In today's video, we go to a... Mm. Hey guys, in today's video, we go to a resident...